Hi everybody, welcome back to the Supernatural Corner Podcast, where every Sunday we talk about supernatural things. Spooky stuff. I'm your host, Serena, and we're here with my co-host, CRCL Man. Hello, everybody. And today... Don't do that's a laptop. You just hit a laptop. What are you doing? <laughs> we'll be talking about Krampus. Yes, I just oh, hit my okay. laptop, but I have to do my little Krampus. thought stroke. Krampus. Okay. Krampus. Okay, so that's like evil Santa, right? Okay. So let let simple let, yes or no. So, evil Santa. No, no maybe. Okay. I don't know. It's a maybe. gamble. Just listen. Okay, just listen to the story. Okay. Spin the tail. Tell let the me, yarn. Okay. So <clears throat> Krampus. What is Krampus? Where did he come from? What does he look like? What happens when you are bad and Krampus comes? Well, I'm going to be trying to answer all those questions for you today. Can I take a guess at it? So, yeah, we can take a guess Okay, at I've it. seen the movie. I don't know how accurate the movie is. Yeah. Okay? Krampus steals bad kids. Okay, I think. And then there's also, like, some festival where a bunch of people dress up as Krampus. And they, like, parade down the street. So, you're like... 50% right. Okay. So, it's a gamble. All right. But I'll tell you. I just, you I always got to take my you guess. Think. You know, I always got to take so my I guess. So, I do have a guess question for you. Okay. So, what do you think the word Krampus means? Well, that's like when, like, you, like, bend your leg and it kind of, like, hurts a little bit and, like, you have to straighten it out. That's yeah, a cramp. I feel like it sounds like a cheese danish or something. Would you like a Krampus? A Krampus. A Krampus. Krampus. That don't sound too bad. Yeah, Yeah. that's okay. So, no, for real, do you know what the word means? No. If you could guess at it. It's it's not like English. It's like a different language. uh, Yeah. Krampus. One who steals children. I don't know. (laughs) No. I don't know. So, this is an interesting fact. Uh, So, what does the word Krampus mean? Krampus is derived from the German word... Krampen, which means claw. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. Something claw. Like Santa, Santa Claus. Claus. Yeah. But oh. no, they did not get that from him. So because Germans um, use Saint Nicholas, they didn't okay. use Santa Claus. Okay. Which was Santa Claus in our so States. sounds like there was some kind of mistranslation or some some wires got crossed somewhere and. I mean, Ger- Germans be pretty dark sometimes, so <laughs> they like they turn Germans. Santa Claus into Santa Claus, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll be answering some of those questions today. Um, so what is Krampus? Well, supposedly it's its own species, oh. according to them. Yeah, which was very interesting. Which is a half man or half man, half goat, half beast. Um, and he Are there multiple Krampi. Yeah, there's multiple Krampuses. Okay. Um, so they originate from the Alpine folklore, um, who come during the Christmas season, and they are most often seen during the first two weeks of December. Hmm. All other times, he is bound to his cave somewhere in the Alps. Hmm, okay. So it's not a like direct. It's it's a completely different race or species or whatever. Yeah, they're their own <clears throat> species. It's not like one. Thing. Yeah, so what I read is there's several different types of crimps. Oh my gosh. Um, These are like gremlins or something. Yeah, so they're like, I don't know, they're that their own species. Like Bigfoot has different types of species branches, you know, uh, which we'll talk about at a later okay. episode. Okay. But anyway, so yeah, I thought that was cool. I didn't know that they were their own species. Okay. So what do you think about this half goat, half Beast. Well, anytime something is like half goat that kind of conjures up demonic, uh, demonic uh, thoughts or whatever you want to say, that's that's what makes me think that it's some sort of demon or something. So some people do call it the Christmas demon. Um, some people um, say that he is actually one of the like in Greek mythology. He's like part of like Hades. Oh, okay. It's a whole different thing. Gotcha. Um, so we're going to talk about what he looks like and we'll get into that later where we just spoke about. Okay. So what does Krampus look like? Okay. So I didn't know this, but I knew they were covered in fur. They usually are bra- black, brown, or white. He has hoofs and horns of a goat. Um, and they have long pointed tongues that roll out and fangs. And sometimes they carry chains, sacks, cages on their backs okay so i didn't know that they um 
they actually had very long tongues. Like and snake like, tongues or something? Yeah, they have like very long like snake tongues. Ooh. Just come out and it's like... Damon. Damon. <laughs> <laughs> Damon. So let's get into the Krampus origin. Okay. So that's the one I kind of wanted to tell you about. Okay. So it's very interesting to me. So Krampus was thought to have been a part of pagan rituals for the winter solstice. Okay. Um, which I didn't know that either. Uh, but later on, with the spread of Christianity, Krampus became associated with Christmas. So here's the thing about that. So the Catholics even tried to ban Chris Krampus okay. because he was looked as like a demon. Right. You know, makes sense. So, yeah, Follows. makes sense. Makes sense. <clears throat> makes sense. So they still brought him in into this into it. <laughs> Okay. I'm trying to cover his eyes so he doesn't read my screen, but he keeps looking at it. What else am I going to look at? Okay, look at right. Santa over there. Okay. <laughs> okay. Santa, we're talking about your brother, but he's not really your brother. Apparently, he's a different species. I wonder if it's elves that went rogue. Anyway, go ahead. Okay. So, the earliest tales of Krampus do appear in um, Austria, Ellipse of Germany. Um, so, that, a part of Germany. Okay. Uh, and that's where he did start to appear. So, children would try to behave, especially around December 5th. Mm -hmm. um, that's the night that Santa would come and he December would... December 5th? Huh? December 5th or 25th? Yeah. No, the 5th. Okay. So, this is what the Germans believed. Okay. Okay. So, around December the 5th, um, Santa would come and kids would leave out their shoes Hoping to wake up to gifts in them. Okay, that's a weird Yeah, thing, so it's okay. weird. So listen. So if they were good, Santa would definitely fill them with gifts and they would be happy and joyful. But if the children were bad, Santa would put lumps of coal in them for Krampus to deal with them later. Are you sure that's not 25th? I don't... It, no, it is the 5th. They celebrated the 5th. They celebrate Christmas the sixth, on the 5th. Because the 6th, they okay. would wake up. Yeah. Okay, all right. No, because did you know technically... Before Santa and Christmas and Krampus was here, that actually December was the month of monsters, where oh people Lord. would try to stay away. And then they moved it to it. October. Yeah, <laughs> oh I guess. my gosh! Okay, I guess it's crazy. So, what would you do if you're bad? What 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 happens if you're bad? What happens if you get that lump of coal? I pray. <laughs> I don't know. Well, it is kind of scary. And if I would have heard, because I didn't hear his Krampus as a child. Right. I wasn't raised with this legend. But if I did, I'm pretty sure I'd be a better child. Because <laughs> let me tell you. So according to legend, Krampus would spend all the night visiting all the houses of the bad children. He sometimes just leaves bundles of sticks for bad children, or he might beat them with the sticks instead. Oh my it gets gosh. more serious. <laughs> so if you were really bad and you didn't get beat by the sticks, sometimes he would toss the children into a sack, basket, or cage on his back and throw them in a stream. And if you weren't bad enough to be thrown in a stream, he also would either eat you or drag you into his lair. Or into the underworld. Okay. Are you done? Are that the, the biggest punishment there? That's the biggest punishment. Can I just say, underworld? this sounds very suspicious. Okay. I'm thinking Germans, maybe that's too big of a generalization, generalization, but I'm thinking this is an excuse for them to punish their kids severely. If they so, had a bad kid for the rest of the year, this is the one night where they can just, just take it out it. on them. No, let's realistically. If think they're horrible, throw them in listen. a creek. Just, like this, that's what, that's what it sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> they think it's Krampus, but it's really Dad. He's pissed off and he wants to take it out on you because he can't do it normally. Right. No, but listen though, listen, <laughs> listen. You know these kids these days that are like, moms like go to the dishes and they're like, f you. And cuss at you, mm -hmm. and you just want to backhand them. You know <laughs> yeah. what I mean? Yeah. You tell them about Krampus bringing them to the underworld or eating them, and they're young. You know what I mean? Start putting sticks outside the house. But I mean, you know, does it not sound them. like you could, as a parent, you could do that? You could be like, Krampus is going to get you, and you beat the crap out of I your mean, kids. I mean, the kids going to know it's you. 
What? No, you just put like some horns on or something. They're gonna think it's Very it's creative good. to beat your child. All you gotta do is put some sticks on your head or something, and they'll and do it in the dark. <laughs> They're not gonna know. Do it in the dark. Oh, then it's horrible. You guys hear his thinking? <laughs> That's where the sticks to come in. They get the sticks. They put them on the head. They look like horns. They, is I'm that telling you. That's horrible. I'm telling you. I don't you. know. It's a thought. So Krampus does have a weakness, though. Okay. And I've never heard of this. Okay. So this weakness is it's said that if you give a piece of fruit, typically an apple and orange, and it has to be by a child, he will sit down, eat the gift, sharing it with whomever, whomever is there, and engage in a polite conversation. Krampus will then leave without harming anybody. That's strange. Okay, that that kind of gives away the parent theory, because <laughs> you can't just. <laughs> give... So you can't just eat fruits with mom and dad. That's weird. That's a weird like demon or something. He comes by if you give him some fruit. He's just like, hey man, how's it going? I feel like if I'm about to be eaten or beat, I'm gonna be like, I got an orange. I got... No, you I wouldn't say apple. I got an orange. You'd be like, I got. <laughs> no, I'd be like, hey, Grandpa. Or... Look what I got. Look what I, he's like. Ooh, okay. I'm not gonna drag you into hell. Don't I'm drag gonna, me to hell. I'm gonna just eat this an apple's orange with really you. Really good to see that. And he's just like, why were you bad? And this is therapy. Yeah, this is therapy. This is like see? you get you get the physical punishment, but if you give him a gift and you show you have a good soul, right. then you could like right. He'll talk it out. He'll with talk you. it out with you. <laughs> this is so you. weird. This he will is, die. This is very you strange. You know what I mean? You might make it. The next day, maybe. <laughs> so, <laughs> so yeah. Till this day, various towns and countries in Europe uh, keep the tradition up of Krampus alive by celebrating what's called Krampsluf or Krampus Run. This pride takes place on the eve of Saint Nicholas' festive day. Okay. Krampus and other Christmas characters do go around. Terrifying young children and celebrating in style. Just, so here's the thing. Just, they actually will hit the adults with the back of their legs. They'll hit them with the sticks. Wait, who will hit what? The Krampuses in the parades. They will hit the adults. Yeah, or push them in the snow and call it like fun and games. Okay. Because Krampus is supposed to be, you know, bad. Krampus is supposed to take care of the kids, we though, not the adults. We can't go around shaking your hand. Well, do you want them to hit your child? How bad was my child? Uh, you're right. You're <laughs> right. Sorry. I don't know. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I don't know. I so, knew they had a parade. Mm -hmm. I knew yeah, that's what I said. You were about 50% yeah. right. So, yeah, they still have a parade. I really want to go to the one of those parades. I think it'd be really cool. Yo, I'm going to be on the second floor. I'm not getting hit. I'm not getting hit. You can hit. stand behind me. <laughs> okay. You can stand behind me. It's okay. I'll handle it. So, this just comes to my conclusion, though. But... With all this being said, I really feel like Krampus isn't evil. I just feel like it is just the opposite of Santa. And it's more to show you that you have to own up to your own bad actions. And that you're not just going to get rewarded for bad behavior. So, you know, for all you kids out there, I hope you were good and got gifts from Santa for being good. Um, and if you didn't... And you were bad. I actually hope you survived Krampus and learned the lesson. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> I don't know. So, so are you in the Krampus's real camp? So, I, I believe he might have been real. Uh, because this, again, originated from uh, like pagan the ritual, paganism. Yeah. You know, But it, almost pagans. everything. Halloween was pagan. Yeah. I think even Christmas originally was mm -hmm. pagan. Like. Yeah, it definitely. It was in some sort of form. And yeah. Christianity kind of took over. But at the same time, like, this, they they say it could have been one of their deities, childs, or something like that. Okay. There's a whole background a whole on him. They, but we don't really know where he originally originated from. Mm -hmm. It's very, wishy -washy. it's very wishy-washy. Yeah. So, yeah, I definitely think that he could have been real at one point. He okay. could have been a demon. Okay. You know, to me, demons are real. You know, just like angels are real. So... I definitely think this could have been a realistic creature. What about you? Hmm. It's possible there's some kind of mutant goat person or something. To me, know. he kind of sounds and looks like the devil. Yeah. You know, he has horns, But hooves, lighter, in a way. Furry. But then again, it just depends on what your view of the devil is. Yeah, true. But I don't know if the devil goes around eating oranges and apples, but... I don't know. I don't know. know. I don't know. You know it's a gamble. I mean? Don't so torture do you, me. Here's an do apple. Do you believe? No. No. But if I was a child, maybe. 
If I was a child, definitely I'd be terrified for the rest like, of my life. I guess it's better because because normally it's like, oh, if you're bad, you get coal, you don't get presents. Mm-hmm. Which, realistically, how often does that happen? You know what I mean? But Krampus, it's like you either stay alive or you're punished. You, you see that coal. Your gift is you life. You die. Your you don't know how life. long you got. <laughs> you, you could either be beaten with sticks or go to hell. Or that's eat, like you know, that's like that one episode of Family Guy where Stewie's like gonna or or. Somebody's going to punch somebody and they don't know when it's coming. They even say that nowadays they'll leave sticks like hanging up in the house to remind the children Krampus, <laughs> Krampus is, real. is real. Like, bro, we need to do that here <laughs> in America. Oh, Where are man. we at, people? Where are we at? But that's it for today's episode. If you guys believe in Krampus, please comment in the comment section down below and let us know. We'll see you next Sunday. For a full episode. For a full episode. Yeah, this is a Christmas special, I guess. Yeah, Christmas special. Anyway. All right, see you guys. Bye, Bye. everybody.